Expect all singing. All dancing. And you'll feel somewhat let down. This is not mantling Hakuho and his combative Shiranui pose, but Kakuryu with modest Undyu pose. physique more modest than the one he displayed in his final bout nigh on three years ago. Cruel how much I had to work out just to maintain this condition, he griped of this long delayed event. It was not his only misfortune. His stables bullying scandal aside, victim Yasunishi kept out of view. A storm delayed the bullet trains, thereby dozens of ringside guests. While no sooner had haircutting begun, when referee Inosuke had his pointing finger snipped by the scissors and yelled for tissues to stem the blood. Kakuryu's youngest daughter was asleep on her turn to snip his hair, while his son was busy playing with friends and made an Indiana Jones style dash for the ring. But not taking things too seriously was a theme Kakuryu embraced. It made his event all the more refreshing. Yeah, the special guest stars came not from the worlds of music or film, but from Sumo itself, much to the joy of the hardcore fans. His former ring rivals make quite some list. His mother and father were also there. The latter having asked a university colleague to translate his son's covering letter sent to every sumo stable some 23 years ago. The coach who accepted that covering letter is sadly four years gone, but his brother was there on his behalf. Kakuryu's final bout was against his son. Oh, 
お父さん余裕があります。出るか。あ、さほど。惜しましい。惜しましました。And the final cut was made by the man who took him on board in the autumn of 2019. And who he'll succeed to the stable throne next year. The second purpose of the event was to showcase the next Kirishima, given second rank status just days before. His hair was spotlighted. <laughs> As was his strength. Before student Yuki flashed his bow twirling skills, <laughs> having earlier shown his gift for song. <laughs> That was how Sumo's 71st Yokozuna bid farewell to the ring, to be met by Hakuho backstage, and encouraged to battle as rivals anew in Sumo's coaching sphere.